BrainWise presents Grade 3, Math, Quizby, Part 5 Mathletes, assemble! It's time to power up your brains and get ready for the ultimate math showdown here on BrainWise. Today, we're testing our skills with a quiz that's packed with exciting challenges. Think you have what it takes to be crowned the mathlete of the day? Let's find out! Easy round. Number 1. Sarah recorded the number of birds she saw each day for a week. Monday 5, Tuesday 3, Wednesday 4, Thursday 6, Friday 2. What is the total number of birds Sarah saw during the week? Again. Sarah recorded the number of birds she saw each day for a week. Monday 5, Tuesday 3, Wednesday 4, Thursday 6, Friday 2. What is the total number of birds Sarah saw during the week? The choices are A. 10 B. 15 C. 20 D. 25 The correct answer is C. 20 Number 2 Jake recorded the number of pizzas sold over five days. How many pizzas did he sell on Thursday? Again. Jake recorded the number of pizzas sold over five days. How many pizzas did he sell on Thursday? The choices are A. 20 B. 30 C. 40 D. 50 The correct answer is C. 40 Number 3 Jake recorded the number of pizzas sold over 5 days. Which day did he sell the most pizzas? Again. Jake recorded the number of pizzas sold over 5 days. Which day did he sell the most pizzas? The choices are A. Monday B. Tuesday C. Wednesday D. Thursday The correct answer is B. Tuesday Number 4 Jake recorded the number of pizzas sold over 5 days. Which day did he sell 25 pizzas? Again Jake recorded the number of pizzas sold over 5 days. Which day did he sell 25 pizzas? The choices are A. Monday B. Tuesday C. Wednesday D. Thursday The correct answer is A. Monday Number 5 Jake recorded the number of pizzas sold over 5 days How many fewer pizzas were sold on Friday than Thursday? Again Jake recorded the number of pizzas sold over 5 days How many fewer pizzas were sold on Friday than Thursday? The choices are A. 2 B. 10 C. 20 D. 30 The correct answer is B. 10. Boom! First round conquered, Mathletes! You guys are on fire! But don't get too comfy because the next round is coming in hot! Stay focused, stay sharp, and let's keep those brains blazing! Average round. Number 1. Mr. Smith recorded the math scores of his students. Use the line plot and answer the question. What score did the most students get? Again, Mr. Smith recorded the math scores of his students. Use the line plot and answer the question. What score did the most students get? The choices are A, 2, B, 8, C, 9, D, 10. The correct answer is C9. Number 2. Mr. Smith recorded the math scores of his students. Use the line plot and answer the question. How many students were there in Mr. Smith's class? 
Again, Mr. Smith recorded the math scores of his students, used the line plot, and answered the question. How many students were there in Mr. Smith's class? The choices are A. 21 B. 24 C. 25 D. 30 The correct answer is C. 25 Number 3 A group of grade 3 students were asked about their shoe sizes. Use the line plot and answer the question. How many more students have a size of 4 than 6? Again, a group of grade 3 students were asked about their shoe sizes. Use the line plot and answer the question. How many more students have a size of 4 than 6? The choices are A. 2 B. 3 C. 4 D. 5 The correct answer is A2. Number 4. Emily wants to find out the probability of a spinner landing on red. The spinner has four equal sections, red, blue, green, and yellow. How many times should she spin the spinner to get the most accurate results? Again, Emily wants to find out the probability of a spinner landing on red. The spinner has four equal sections, red, blue, green, and yellow. How many times should she spin the spinner to get the most accurate results? The choices are A. 4 times B. 10 times C. 20 times D. 100 times The correct answer is D. 100 times. The more times you conduct an experiment, the closer the results will be to the theoretical probability. Number 5. A class voted on their favorite subject. The results were Math 12 votes, Science 8 votes, Reading 7 votes, and Art 5 votes. If these results are shown on a bar graph, what will be the difference in height between the bars for math and art? Again, a class voted on their favorite subject. The results were Math 12 votes, Science 8 votes, Reading 7 votes, and Art 5 votes. If these results are shown on a bar graph, what will be the difference in height between the bars for math and art? The choices are A. 5 units B. 7 units C. 12 units D. 17 units The correct answer is B. 7 units. Wow! You guys are unstoppable! The challenges are getting tougher, but your math skills are shining through. Now, brace yourselves for the final round! It's time to unleash your inner mathlete superpower! Difficult round. Number 1. Ken recorded his mini shop earnings over a six month period. What is the earnings on month of April? Again, Ken recorded his mini shop earnings over a six month period. What is the earnings on month of April? The choices are A. $200 B. $250 C. $300 D. $350 The correct answer is A. $200. Number 2. Ken recorded his mini shop earnings over a six month period. What is the total earnings? Again, Ken recorded his mini shop earnings over a six month period. What is the total earnings? The choices are A. $1,950. B. $2,050. C. 
$2,150. D, $2,250. The correct answer is B, $2,050. Number 3. Liam flips a coin and rolls a die at the same time. He records whether he gets heads or tails and what number he rolls on the die. He does this 24 times. How many times is he likely to get heads and an even number? Again. Liam flips a coin and rolls a die at the same time. He records whether he gets heads or tails and what number he rolls on the die. He does this 24 times. How many times is he likely to get heads and an even number? The choices are A. 3 B. 6 C. 9 D. 12 The correct answer is B6. The probability of heads is one half, and the probability of an even number is one half. So, the probability of both is one half times one half equals one fourth. He's likely to get this outcome 24 times one fourth, which equals six times. Number four. Liam has a bag with 10 marbles, five red, three blue, and two green. He picks one marble without looking records the color and puts it back in the bag. He does this 20 times. Which of these results is most likely? Again, Liam has a bag with 10 marbles, 5 red, 3 blue, and 2 green. He picks one marble without looking, records the color, and puts it back in the bag. He does this 20 times. Which of these results is most likely? The choices are A. 10 red, 5 blue, 5 green, B. 12 red, for blue, for green. C, five red, 10 blue, five green. D, eight red, six blue, six green. The correct answer is B, 12 red, for blue, for green. This is closest to the theoretical probability of red 1 half, blue 3 tenths, and green 1 fifth. Number 5. A bag contains for red marbles, 3 blue marbles, and 2 green marbles. What is the probability of picking a marble that is not green? Again, a bag contains for red marbles, 3 blue marbles, and 2 green marbles. What is the probability of picking a marble that is not green? The choices are A. 2 ninths B. 4 ninths C. 7 ninths D. 1 The correct answer is C, 7 ninths. Victory! You guys crushed it! Give yourselves a champion's cheer! You face every challenge with courage and determination. Remember, mathletes, you're all winners! Keep pushing your limits, keep learning, and keep having fun with math! Don't forget to smash the like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more epic math battles. Math Star in the making. 
Keep practicing and shining. Post your score in the comments. Check out other videos from BrainWise.